Hi there, it's Beauty Junkie. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be trying out the Natasha Denona Liquid Chromium Eyeshadows. I have three shades to show you. I have Infra Nude, Dog Bane, and Dragonfly. And I have them swatched in that order, top to bottom right here and they all look very different than when I look at them in the sunlight. These look all like shades of brownie pink, but in the shift they look very different. There you go. I can think you can sort of see how it's very different in the mirror. I'm going to go ahead and put the video of the reflection in the sunlight as I move my arm. Alright, so now you kind of see what the reflect looks like. I know this angle doesn't really do it justice, but it does have a really cool shift. And I think the liquid formula is definitely more vibrant than her new Trio Chrome palette. I think the powders in here just don't have that dramatic shift quite like the her liquid formula does. Um, but if I... I think though, I'm not going to pick up Scarab. They have a liquid Scarab. Um, this is my favorite of this palette. I think it, the shift is really noticeable, so I'm not gonna pick up the liquid one. Um, but I heard the liquid one, liquid one is really good. Um, I didn't pick that one up, I don't know. These are pretty expensive. Um, but I, I really like this color and the shift that went with it. It's like green to gold to bronze, it's very pretty. Um, this is more of a natural looking sort of multi-chrome. It's not as dramatic. I always, I say it's a little, a lot more wearable, but people, if you want to try trio chrome, you want something really dramatic, and I think the liquid ones really give it to you. But, you know, they're like, what, $28 a piece or something like that? Which is more in line with how much indie brand costs for a single eyeshadow. Um, but you get more of a, a better, like, payoff. So we're gonna go ahead and try these out on my eyes today. I'm very excited. I'm trying these out on my eyes for the first time. I've, of course, swatched them all, but really excited to see them in action. This is the packaging, in case you guys are curious. Just these really small little pink boxes. And these are pretty tiny. So you're getting... 2.5 milliliters, 0 0.08 fluid ounces. And these are supposed to last six months. Not a lot of time to go through an eyeshadow, but I'm not too surprised it is liquid. It's probably gonna dry out at some point. Um, hopefully not till after the six months are over, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. I wanted to get the more neutral wearable shades. Um, they have some, she has some greens and purples and stuff like that. But I already have a lot of those, so I'm happy to like get the more wearable ones. So we're going to try these out. I'm going to go in with Infra Nude first, which is probably the most neutral, most wearable out of all of her shades. And we're just going to dive right in. feels very cool on the eye. So I'm going to wait for that to dry. Feels a little bit like a gloss, a little bit heavy. But, I mean, so pretty. You can see that green shift. Very vibrant, very noticeable. As I said, I like her Triochrome palette, Trio Chrome palette. 
I think the the shift, like a lot of people said, isn't great, and I agree with that, but I think you do see some shift. It's very easy to apply. You can blend it out really easy, which is not really true for most multi-chrome shadows. It's hard to blend out. They feel very thick and metallic-y, but her formula is not like that. Now, the color payoff, you know, the shift isn't as good, but she traded that for ease of application so you can't have everything but it is a very expensive palette for something that doesn't perform to the standards that you quite hope it to be so I think the mattes though are really nice so I think it makes up for it but again $130 palette you kind of want everything to be spectacular so I could see why there's a lot of like mixed reviews on it. I don't know. I still really enjoy it. I got some pretty looks out of it. And I'm gonna continue to use it. Alright, so I'm feeling still feeling a little bit tacky. It does take a while to dry down. So I'm gonna move on to my other eye. And I'm gonna use Dog Bane on the inner part. This feels so cooling. So, oops, these feel like they are kind of meant to be built up. They're not completely opaque. They're not necessarily just toppers, though. You can see they have some color. Um, you can definitely put this as like a middle center shade on a completed like powder eyeshadow look. You don't just have to use the cream formula like I'm doing, but I really just wanted to showcase these colors by themselves. But I can certainly, you can use this with powder and have a more like complete look. Um, but I wanted to try out them on their own, but they're a little bit sheer, so you can kind of go over the same area more than once to really build up that color. So that's Dog Bane, and now I'm going to put dragonfly on the outer part and this one's definitely more pink a little bit darker a little bit flashier you can see the difference there and I think that's why so many people like scarab because it really shows up it's really bright you can really see the reflection and it probably is very vibrant like the dragonfly very very pretty I think these two kind of shift really well together but when you're in that light but then this kind of looks like a darker shadow when you're not in the right light that's the thing about multi-chromes they can look a little funny like when you're in the shadows versus when you're in the the shiny light <laughs> or the light that makes it shiny so yeah, it's just, it's, they're, they're interesting. You gotta play with them. But that dragonfly is really pretty. I mean, I could see how you could easily, like, mix all of these together in, like, one look. So this side's pretty dry now. Um, I get a little bit of shadow when I rub my finger over it, but it's pretty much down. I wanna put dragonfly on this side, too. See, I just patted that out just a little bit, and it didn't make it patchy, which is nice. So there we go. Those are all three applied to my eyes. I know I look a little bit crazy, but um, I think these are really, really pretty, and the payoff is really nice. I don't know what it is, but this formula really tickles my eyelids. <laughs> Infrared underneath my eyes just to try that out. Yeah, I mean, even though, like, I got a little bit of skidding, I was evil. I'm easily able to, like, blend it out with my finger and fix little mistakes, which is always a good sign. <laughs> 
All right, I'm gonna apply a little bit of mascara and I will be back. All right, guys, I put on a little bit of mascara, some more lip gloss, and this isn't the most like complicated or perfected like multi-chrome look. I really only use the multi-chrome, so you know, I just wanted to really just show off the effect of these eyeshadows and I think these are really pretty. I think it's difficult to formulate a liquid anything and when you have this cool of a finish and magical of a finish, I'm really impressed. Um, I think these give just a right amount of reflect and sparkle and shift. I just think these are gorgeous as many of people have raved about these. I think the hype is real. They are expensive though. If you want to just get one to try it out, I would probably recommend Infranude if you like a pink to green shift. Um, the like straight on shade is very wearable and neutral sort of a brownish light pink um, which is very wearable but then it shifts to really cool green um, I really like that one um, if you want if you want like a bright like electric pink dragonfly is gonna be your friend and then dog Bane is probably one of the more interesting ones it's this kind of brownish reddish shade in the middle here and it shifts to kind of a bronze, so it's not like the most exciting, but again, a wearable sort of shift if you're a little bit scared of what to get. Um, I, I recommend all three. I think if you really want to be flashy, Scarab is probably going to be the one you're going to want to go for. That green to yellow, bronze, gold shift is very pretty, um, but I like these three as well. Um, and let me know if you have any questions, if you want any tips. I can only imagine that putting a primer down first is going to help with application. Also kind of rounding out the look with some powder eyeshadow, framing it with some mattes would make it look even better and just kind of sticking this on in the middle would make it also a very pretty look. But using them on their own I think is gorgeous and just a really quick flash of light. In interesting shades, I think these are definitely some winning liquid eyeshadows. Please let me know if you have any questions. Click like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.